Hi, I'm Dr. Anant Raman, consultant endocrinologist at uh, Magna Centers for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at uh, BTM Bangalore. What is Cushing syndrome? Cushing syndrome is a very commonly encountered syndrome that we come across in clinical practice actually. What does syndrome refer to? Syndrome refers to a collection of symptoms and signs. Symptoms is what the patient is complaining of and signs are what we see in the patient. So in Cushing syndrome, it is due to net cortisol excess. Cortisol is a hormone which is produced from the adrenal gland which are located on top of the kidneys. All of us have two kidneys on top of the kidney, there is an adrenal gland. This adrenal gland produces a hormone called cortisol. It's a stress hormone, it's very vital for our life actually. But if this hormone is produced in excess quantities, it causes certain changes which can be recognized as a clinical syndrome. That is by looking at the patient, we can make out that this patient is producing too much cortisol. Either he's taking uh, exogenous cortisol or you know steroids from outside or his adrenal gland is producing more steroid. In fact, the most common cause for Cushing syndrome is actually taking exogenous steroids which a doctor has prescribed or the patient is taking by self-medication. So what constitutes Cushing syndrome? How does a patient look? They will have a moon face. The face becomes rounded. Okay, You can have excess hair around the face. You can have acne, pimples uh, appearing on the face. Then uh, you can have proptosis, bulging of the eyes can be one uh, feature. Then uh, most important uh, feature is actually central obesity. They develop a paunch. Most people who have cortisol excess develop a paunch or the visceral obesity. There is a lot of accumulation of fat within the intra-abdominal cavity and below the skin, which is mainly around the belly. They can develop a buffalo hump or accumulation of fat in the shoulders actually. So where you know you get uh, this thing and they also become thin. Their hands and legs become thinned out and uh, they start uh, getting uh, striae or stretch marks and the striae happen because of protein catabolism the collagen that is present in the skin is uh, you know not uh, rebuilt very quickly because of cortisol excess and then there is fat accumulation again which happens very rapidly both of these things lead to broad purple striae actually so these are present mainly at the bottom of the abdomen below the breast or in the arms upper limb arms or in the limbs actually so these are all features of Cushing syndrome. Then again, there is something called a Liddell sign where you can actually pinch up the skin like this and see whether the skin is thick or thin. If the skin thickness is below a particular level, it is very specific for the presence of Cushing syndrome. A paper thin skin is again a feature of Cushing syndrome. Uh, of course, uh, Cushing syndrome can be associated with high blood pressure recordings because the high cortisol levels which are there in the blood retain the salt and water and uh, that can be one feature there can be a high blood pressure patients with Cushing syndrome can also have diabetes which is uncontrolled this again is a feature of Cushing syndrome but it is not clinically manifest all right so this is what Cushing syndrome constitutes